Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen Smith. I am super excited to teach you this recipe today. It's a lot of fun to make. This is a 3D geometric heart that you can smash. So at the end, we're gonna break it. I made a whole bunch of these actually, and I'm gonna bring them all in the video at the end and you'll see the different styles to get ideas. So you can fill this with whatever you want. You can put candy, cakes, jewelry, love letters, and you're gonna find out what I put in it at the end when we smash it. What I love about making this is you can give this to anybody. You don't have to be in a relationship. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. You could do this for birthdays, any occasion. I'm gonna be gifting these to some of my girlfriends who are not in relationships. It's just a fun thing to give to somebody and they look really cool. You can put letters on top, you don't have to, but you can be so creative while decorating them. Anyway, so we're gonna get right into it. You need to have a mold. I have two molds. It's a geometric heart shape and it's silicone. To begin the recipe, you have to melt chocolate inside the silicone mold. You can either use chocolate chips, melting chocolate, or candy melts. Today, we're gonna use candy melts. This particular one, I used pure chocolate. There are a couple ways that you can melt your chocolate. You could either put it in the microwave for 30 second intervals, checking it and mixing it in between until it's melted, but be careful if you put it in the microwave because it can tend to burn. Because I have a double boiler, I'm going to use the double boiler. I like that method a lot. If you're unfamiliar with a double boiler, you have to put water on the bottom, and then the top pot goes on top. <laughs> you just have to heat this up until it's melted and just stir it occasionally. You don't want this to stick on the bottom, so pay attention to it. Okay, so this is melted and now we can pour it in the mold. I did two coats on the other chocolates. I think that it turned out good. So I'm gonna do two coats. It takes a little bit of time, so be very patient with it. You need to make sure you're getting the edges very well or else the chocolate could break. The hardest part to cover is the center of the heart where the crack is right there. A little tip for you, if your chocolate is getting thick and you need to thin it out, you can put a tablespoon of vegetable oil or vegetable shortening. If you need more than that, only add it in very small increments. There's a little bit of excess chocolate that I don't want to waste because I'm going to use it for the second coat. I'm going to dump it back into the pot. You can clean up the edges of your silicone mold with an offset spatula or whatever you have. You could use a knife if you want. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you get rid of the excess chocolate, it'll help it from breaking. Now that it's all covered, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about five to seven minutes or until it's hard. The chocolate hardened up from the refrigerator. I poured a little bit more in for the second coat. Then you just have to do the same exact thing where you mix it around. And definitely handle this with care. If you're not careful, you could be puncturing the bottom. Uh-oh, uh-oh. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. I was gonna tell you this. There's a crack right now. I don't know if you guys could see it above. Oh my God, the whole thing is cracking. No! No! I was gonna tell you, you have to be really careful with the second coat because you could be puncturing the chocolate that already hardened and that's what's happening right now. Okay guys, I wanna explain this to you in case it happens to you while you're dealing with your chocolate. It came out of the refrigerator and I can tell that the layer is so thin and this is the second coat. If you notice that, you don't wanna crack it away from the mold right away, you still have to build up chocolate on the edges. I have done that with this one already and I'm gonna put it in the freezer. So it's a lot thicker outside's gonna look really pretty like this. Slowly put in the chocolate around the edges. If you have to do this part, you may or may not have to, just get the edges covered as much as you can because that is the part that's most prone to crack. And what's funny enough, I literally made four other hearts. You're gonna see all of them at the end. They're really pretty. And I didn't have this issue at all one time. But because I'm having this issue, I feel like it's important for you to know in case it happens to you. Just carefully get the edges. All right, so it's hardened enough. I'm going to carefully unpeel the chocolate from the silicone mold. Be very patient when you do this. It's always scary to do this part, but when it comes out, oh my God, it's so fun. My recommendation, is either wear rubber gloves or you can use saran wrap. The reason is because if you don't, there's a chance that you'll get fingerprints on your chocolate and that never looks good. Now I'm carefully gonna remove this. Oh, look how pretty it is. I'm gonna flip it. Ta-da! We have a beautiful 3D geometric heart. Time to peel the second heart. Ooh. Love it. The next step, 
what you need to do, you're gonna have to seal this and you're gonna have to fill it up pretty quickly so that it stays warm while you're filling it. So I'm gonna put it upside down. This pan here, I had it in the oven, so it's a warm pan. Or is it not warm from sitting out so long? <laughs> oh, come on, really? I had it in there for hours. It's not warm enough. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Typical. This pan has been in the oven. It's warm so that I can melt it. You can also do a pan on the stove, but I like this because it's flat. It's very flat. So I got all the edges. Hopefully it's flat enough. Oop. Now this side. <gasps> I cracked it. It's okay. I'm trying to melt it. I'm just gonna lay it on top just to see if it fits good, if I melted it. Now we fill it, because it's almost ready. I have a couple little hearts here. I'm gonna write a small little note on one of them, and I'm gonna put it inside the chocolate. Write Happy Valentine's Day. You can write whatever you want, whatever your message is, whatever the holiday is, it doesn't matter. I'm choosing to use conversation hearts. I think that'll be nice on the bottom layer. Put this heart in there. This is a brownie. You can use whatever you want, guys. Get creative with this. I don't know if I could fit everything. I'm gonna try. I have a couple Hershey Kisses here. I'm gonna need to melt. Oh, no! God, it's so delicate. I have to be really careful. Next, I'm gonna connect it. You can put a message in there if you want. Oh my God, I'm so scared because it's so delicate. Ooh. <laughs> this is the fun part, decorating it. So I have a few things here. I have different kind of sprinkles. This is melted pink chocolate in a piping bag. And I also have some white. You wanna cut a really thin tip on the end. Just test your chocolate. Move it pretty fast across. Okay, that looks pretty. I'm gonna do the pink. Again, test it on the side. You have to give it like a lot of pressure when you squeeze it back and forth real quick. And you could do whatever color you want, whatever you like. And I have these heart sprinkles. Ooh, that looks pretty. Pink pearls. I have some white jimmies. What do you guys call it? Write it in the comments. Do you call these jimmies or sprinkles? I grew up in Philly and that's what we call it here. But I know a lot of people call them sprinkles. Actually, it says sprinkles on here. <laughs> we have to get the pan again when it's hot. We're gonna slightly melt each of these letters and place them on here. Take your letters, melt them a little bit on a hot pan. It's like, it turns into glue basically. And then push it on, hold it there and then keep going. Also, don't melt it too much on the bottom because when you squish it down, the melted chocolate seeps out and it looks a little bit messy. Ta-da, it's done and it looks so pretty. I love it. Here they are, all of these chocolate hearts I made. I put the same thing in all of them except a different note. You can put anything you want inside of these. These are so fun to make, I swear. Like, this is a great project. I really recommend you guys doing it. Which one should I break? I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna break the that loved one and I'm gonna save these but I want to show you one thing before I break it if you're gonna gift this to somebody you can put it in a box with some of this crinkly paper stuff and just decorate the box a little bit it looks so pretty it would be such a fun present to give somebody so that's just an idea now let's get to smashing <laughs> So this is my first time making these. I've never smashed one yet. I'm so excited to do this. Ready? One, two. <gasps> it didn't work. I guess you have to hit it really hard. All right, one, two, three. Oh my God. <gasps> ah! Oh cool, look at this. That's so fun. I really hope you guys enjoy making this. This is like one of my favorite things I've made so far. So please, if you make it, share your recipe with me. I wanna see it, tag me, and tell me who you think I should gift these to, cause I have four left. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. That was the recording, so uh, <laughs> Oops, my shoe just fell off. <laughs> I feel like my voice sounds scratchy. Hi guys, oh, what the hell? Cho a chocolate bar. Um. <laughs> Look, see, it's actually clumpy in here. Oh no, don't do this to me. Not in the video. What do I do? 
why is white chocolate like this? Take eight, I think. Take nine, ten, 